What is going on guys, it's Ben here bringing you another Pokemon Go video. In today's video, we're going to be catching a bunch of Squirtles. I found a Squirtle nest near my uh, near my, my house here and basically I catch a bunch of them. I'm going to be evolving them. Uh, I think I caught a total of five Squirtles, but I'm also going to throw in here some like other good catches that I got while just like kind of like roaming around. I think later on I catch a Scyther, a Tauros, and some other stuff. I don't really know, uh, but yeah guys, catching freaking Squirtles has been a nightmare or any starter Pokemon, honestly. Usually I only get the starter pokemon from eggs uh and to be like you guys saw my video yesterday about pokevision uh, where you can scan your area to see like real time where pokemon are um so if you haven't checked that video out do that it helps you find any type of pokemon that are actually in your area but that's how i found out about this squirtle spawner because i, was, I checked this park um it's like a couple miles away from my house and literally there was one squirtle there so i drove there got it and then i checked the park again like at a later time um, like, I don't know, I'd say an hour later and the Squirtle was there once again in the same spot. So you'll see me at this spot a few times catching Squirtles at different times and whatnot. Uh, you can even see like the different CPs of the Squirtles and whatnot and my, all the other stuff. I'm getting a Skype call here uh, while I was in the middle of catching a Toro, so I was pretty mad. But, uh, yeah, like basically using Pokevision to help me find like a spawner for Squirtles. So now every so often if I drive by the area, I'll check it. Um, or ever like whenever I'm at, whenever I'm playing Pokemon I'll just like go check Pokevision check see if there's a Squirtles up there and if there is I'll drive there catch it um, because I have a Literally guys in Green Bay if you guys live in California or anywhere near like a big city like sent like New York Central Park uh, Let's say California near Santa Monica Pier you guys are extremely lucky for Pokemon Go because they spawn like good Pokemon all the time. Like the Electabuzzes, I, like, I'll check on there, like Electabuzzes are there. Uh, basically, like anything is like, anything rare is there pretty much. And around here in Wisconsin, there isn't really that many good spots for like really rare Pokemon. I mean, we have Lambo Field, but honestly only like the same type of Pokemon spawn there. It's nothing super rare. If I see like rare Pokemon, it's just like an off chance that it happened to spawn there. Like yesterday, I was, uh, there was Lick Lickitung on my radar and I was searching for so long, um, and I was about to get it, and then like as soon as I was about to get it, it disappeared, uh, I was like, I don't know, a little while away, but yeah guys, this is, so I think this is the second Squirtle I'm about to catch here, you can see I'm roaming around, and it pops up there, same spot as the park, uh, there's a few other spots where I just caught a Squirtle, like there was a, it was raining out, and like one just popped up there but i do not really see starter pokemon that often so if you have like some like it's considered a nest or people consider it a nest if you have a nest of like a rare pokemon or something like that near you near you or anywhere near you um you're pretty lucky so i consider the starter pokemon rare uh electabuzz magmar rare uh snorlax is rare lapras is rare pretty much anything out of the area like the eggs um, and right here we're catching a Scyther. My first one that I've actually like been in the wild found and had to catch. This one was 1303. Uh, that is a little bit lower than the one that I hatched for my egg because I've, ta I've hatched two of them from two 10k eggs. Uh, I haven't got a 10k egg in a very long time though. I used to get them pretty frequently, um, but I haven't had one in a couple days. Uh, it, it, I don't know. It's it's whatever. But like, are there any big nest near you guys' house like a Pokemon? uh basically it's it's you got to be lucky with your area so like is there any like really good pokemon that spawn near you and you kind of take that for granted as for me a freaking magnemite i consider that a rare pokemon because i barely ever see these i don't see a lot of ground pokemon around here since we're like near the water a lot i am going to be going to madison uh very fairly soon here because i heard there's some decent pokemon spots around there uh i'm gonna be going there soon checking it out and then if it's good i'll be going back there a few other days um because i have some things going down well not myself um i have some things like that i could go down there if i wanted to to check it out um so maybe i'll go back there twice but here's another squirtle uh, later on so i think this is the fourth one or the third one i think i catch a total in five i could have caught six I was, uh, there was like this weird spot kind of near where I live where sometimes rare Pokemon will be there, sometimes they won't. I've noticed that for like ever since I started playing. Uh, and there was a Squirtle there. And this is why I use Ultra Balls and Raspberries usually on Squirtle Ball, Squirtles now, or any like rare Pokemon, because like if, a, if it's like a rare Pokemon that, or any Pokemon that I don't see often, I don't want to risk the chance of it escaping. Um, so I raspberry it to use the best ball that I have. Uh, sometimes if I feel as though like I've caught it a few times, I'll just use a great ball, not the ultra ball. 
Um, but I do not want to get the, those Pokemon do not I do not want them to get away So it's just like I use like all that stuff you may be like oh Ben Why are you using an ultra ball on this low level Squirtle or low CP Squirtle? But that's my rationale for it. if I don't see it often I, I Want to get it so right here though. There's a Squirtle around we're kind of searching around it Pops up once again. I think that's the is that the, I don't even know is that the fourth or the fifth one I have no idea uh, but Yeah, this is literally this this is what you're seeing here though. Someone's got my contact but these, these catches that you're seeing here all happened within like one day. Uh, I started playing probably, I don't even know, you could probably see the time on the top, I think I left that in the video. But I think I started playing like 5 o'clock one day or something, searching, and then uh, throughout the day like, and then like I, of course I took like went to sleep. And then the next day at like 12 o'clock is when I saw some more Squirtle spawning. So in that time span, this is where I caught all those Squirtles. So if I keep doing this for a couple days, Hopefully I can get that Blastoise. I evolved the Squirtle at the end to get the um, War Turtle, but I've never had that either. Like I, I do not see Star Pokemon that often, and I don't get really lucky with my two kilometer eggs. Usually, usually with my two kilometer eggs, I either get a Pidgey, a Weedle, or uh, what's the other one? I think I've got a few Rattatas, but. The ones that I want to get are either the starter Pokemon or Magikarp. I just got a Magikarp out of one, so I was pretty stoked for that. Um, I've never got like a Pikachu. I've got a few uh, Bulbasaur's. I'm gonna catch actually gonna catch a Bulbasaur right here too. Uh, Drowsy pops up and a Bulbasaur spawns. Um, well, there like yeah, this is just literally me just wandering around. Uh, caught all these within that same time frame. That's why I thought it'd be cool to put all these kind of like rare Pokemon catches. For me, it may be completely different for you guys. Like it depends on your location. Depends if you have like a spawner nest near you, how often you see these. But I'm just saying from my point of view, these are super rare Pokemon. Uh, and you just, if you find a nest of a Pokemon, you're so lucky. But yeah, catching Squirtles, catching these parties, like uh, starting Pokemon. Unfortunately, this Bulbasaur is actually really hot, like a high CP Bulbasaur. But I already have a, uh, not a Venusaur. <sighs> Can't think of it. The second one. I'm gonna, I don't even know. Uh, Ivysaur, sorry. Yeah, the Ivysaur. Like, there's so many Pokemon names. I've been playing. I've been playing Pokemon a long time, but to get all of them just like instantly, it's gonna take a while to get that back. But Ivysaur. I have a pretty beast Ivysaur. Um, it's like 900 something. Um, right here is the last Squirtle. I think this is the last one that I caught. Then I could evolve it. I don't really know, but yeah, I'm telling you guys, just check Poke Vision. Look for the spawners because we don't know how like if. Niantic is actually gonna take Pokevision down or not um, But before that try and check to see where like things you typically spawn in your area Just check it every so often. That's what I do like I usually just scan around hot spots that I go to around my town um, If there's some Pokemon that I see like spawn there a lot. That's usually Why when I would go there? Uh, you can see all the catches that I'm getting within like just a day um, just because I found one squirrel nest caught like five or six. I don't even remember I'll, in the title it'll say but yeah right here I have the lucky egg on uh, you can see the Bulbasaur and all that um some of my rare Pokemon and whatnot my Ivysaur is 950 the Lapras is someone asked me how I got my Lapras I got one from an egg and Target uh, every time I go to like Target or Walmart I'm not gonna lie I always see good Pokemon so I'm gonna go there more often but right here my Squirtle isn't a super high level but I I don't know I feel as though like I could level it up if I wanted to like I I don't know. I, I just wanted to get the War Turtle so I can get that in my Pokedex as well and just go on my way. The next one I have to evolve is the Charmander to Charmeleon and then finally get the final evolutions. And then Pikachu, I barely ever see Pikachu so I don't know how long it's going to take me to get a Raichu. Who knows, maybe I'll get like a bunch of eggs someday of two kilometer eggs of Pikachus and get lucky but there's the War Turtle. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you did and don't subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos. Not ready. Hope you have a wonderful day or night. And let me know if there's any nests around where you guys live. Peace out, guys.